In this next part of building the foot, uh, we're going to have to look at putting together the toes. So I want to um, cut up my edges so that I have a match going on from the uh, top to the bottom. Now, as of right now, I've got four. I really don't have a fifth for my pinky, and I'm going to have to add this one in. That means I've got a missing edge here on the side, and I'm going to have to add that in as well. Now, note for right now, I'm adding in these edges, but I'm leaving five-sided faces at the back of each of these. That's going to be kind of problematic later on, uh, but we're going to work around that later. Just know that we're going to come back to these uh, five side faces and deal with them then. Uh, we're not going to work with them right now. Uh, I'm going to widen this out so it fits with the pinky toe, the fifth toe. Uh, and now we have one division for uh, essentially each toe for the foot. And like I said, these problems are going to come from the uh, five side faces that we have. Uh, but there are several ways to eliminate these back, uh, and that's what we're going to work on next here. I can cut this in with an extra uh, split polygon tool uh, in either direction, or I can bring the next one down and close this off. And you notice what happens now. Uh, what was three faces turns into two, and then eventually into one. And that's a sort of general pattern that you really want to look at using uh, as one of two different strategies for eliminating out extra faces as they sort of play back onto the foot. So that idea was that I kind of used my split polygon tool as I would say essentially a gate, um, shutting off two uh, into one section. Uh, and again, three faces go to two, go to one. Again, soften my edges here. Let's work with this back one now. And I'm going to try and take this all the way around the foot to merge up with what was going on on my other side near the big toe. I'm going to draw this back out across the heel, and I'm going to turn this corner here. Now that, of course, presents me a triangle and a five side. We're going to get back to that in just a minute. But now we can link this up, make our quad along the bottom, looking great. Now to fix this up, that triangle, I'll just split it in half and draw that connection to the far side of the five side, move this point up, and lo and behold, I have three quads. We'll be doing that construction um, quite a bit more as we finish up this foot as well. All right, so we're just gonna. Continue rounding out this shape now. Um, now that I've got a whole chunk of this foot in, uh, I'm going to uh, just re-manipulate it so it, it works, I think, a little bit uh, more evenly. Again, this step is just moving vertices, so there's no specific way I can say to do it uh, other than examine the actual shape of a foot. Uh, look at it, look at your actual foot, and figure out how you can translate that shape into 3D. Uh, again, I'm going to soften the edges here, delete my history, um, and uh, I think we've got that foot wrapped up completely nicely and ready for toes, which was that uh, fourth step that we were working on.